Whether you're an experienced Mac user or have never really used a Mac before, you know that there are a lot of different shortcuts that you can do, kind of like on a Windows machine that will give you different capabilities within the operating system. Now, I've been using a Mac since, I believe, version 10, and there are still a lot of things that I find on a daily basis that I never knew about. There's a lot of things that Apple doesn't necessarily advertise unless you dive deep into their manual, and these are some things that can really help enhance your Mac experience or just make things a whole lot easier while operating on the system. If you have a ton of media on your desktop like me and just like being organized, you can select everything on your desktop or what you wish to put in a folder, hit command Control n and this will automatically put the things you selected into a folder for you where you can then rename the file you wish and it will be stored on your desktop with everything inside of it. If you like the Windows Task Manager on the Windows operating system, you'll be happy to know that Mac has something similar to this. Hitting Command Option Escape will bring up something kind of like the Task Manager on Windows where you can force quit applications. Now a nice thing about this is that it says I have QuickTime Player running in the background which is not shown in my dock so I had no idea it was running in the background. This could be slowing up my PC a little bit and this force quit applications can also be used to quit applications that aren't responding anymore. Maybe you're looking at a web page that isn't responding, you're kind of getting annoyed and it's not letting you quit it. Hit Command Option Escape close that out and you should be good to go. If you have a lot of applications open, the dock can be kind of a messy place for you and it's not always easy to find exactly what you're looking for. Mac has this cool built-in feature using Command Tab. This will bring up all the current applications that you have open on your PC and in your dock. Another nice thing about this is that you can cycle through these using Tab and get to these applications a lot easier rather than having to find them in your dock. Another awesome feature about this is that if you have something highlighted, let's say I want to close out Spotify, I can right click or I can hover over that using the tab and hit command Q and this will close out the application. I can do this for every application in this until I go to Finder and I can always relaunch Finder in this as well. A lot of people don't know this, but Mac actually has a built-in screenshot feature similar to the snip tool or print screen on a Windows machine. Now to do this, all you have to do is hit Command Shift 3 and this will take an image or take a screenshot of your current screen. In my case, since I have two dual monitors, it did take a picture of both. But if you're trying to save your screenshot or something similar to that, you can do so using Command Shift 3. Another nice built-in feature kind of that goes along with this is the somewhat or so-called snip tool. You can do this by hitting Command Shift 4 and this will kind of bring up something similar to the snip tool on Windows. This allows you to drag and drop a certain area of your screen to save a picture. Let's say that I accidentally deleted my YouTube avatar and I need to re-upload it. So all I have to do is hit Command Shift 4, kind of crop out the area that I want my screenshot to be and this will save this onto your desktop just like the previous screenshot. Volume on a Mac is kind of a hit or miss. It either goes up too high or it doesn't go up enough. Now to hit this perfect medium, all you have to do is hit shift, option, and the volume up or down button. Instead of going up an entire notch like it usually would, it'll go up one fourth of a notch. The nice thing about this is that you can get the perfect volume every time. This also works for brightness, so if you're looking to get the perfect brightness in your current environment, you can do this by hitting the brightness up or down button, and it will also go up one fourth of a notch each time.